Listen, my worst nightmare job, category three sewage backup with a board, overwhelming. I'd rather clean up a decomp than this any day. All that is species. All baby. We are at um, the sewage job that I uh, took a short video of a couple days ago, and it is just as bad, if not worse, than I thought. So we're getting bombarded by roaches. They're crawling, they're flying, they're coming out of the bags, they're everywhere, they're biting. Um, so we're covered head to toe here, and uh, we're stepping in sloshy carpet that's full of raw sewage. So follow me and I'll show you. Toilets overflow and cause water to come, sewage to come into the, uh, into the unit. When they did get find the line, he said that he was pulling uh, baby wipes out of the line. You know, he, he told me that, you know, that I had to get everything out of here. This is really, really bad. So we have a huge, huge job ahead of us. This is the most unpleasant, miserable job I think I've ever done. Um, thank God for respirators, or whoever made the respirators, because I can't smell anything. And that was the biggest thing that was bothering me, was the odor. I could smell it from the parking lot. So working with this makes it bearable. Uh, barely, barely bearable. But that's what we're dealing with today. It is a hot, hot mess um, and a giant, giant job. But uh, I'm grateful for the staff that came in on a Sunday to uh, to help us out here and do that. Six months to build up. It hasn't even been a minute, that's already filled up. Yeah, about 30 seconds. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of trash bags. <laughs> Delicious brunch right now. Not me. Don't back up. I'm having raw sewage with roaches. Lucky me. I need to me for this. Nothing says Christmas like a snow shovel in Florida. I'm not worried if it's from Fold and Decon. Yep. We do normal roaches here. We do gargantuan here. Little Florida roaches. Yeah, look at that. Hi, Olna. Good. Look at that. Just like that, we get... Ooh. We do, we gotta get the shovel in there. So the raw sewage and fluids were here for so long, it caused mold to build up 
inside the condo because we don't have any airflow in here. So there's mold everywhere. We're going to have to cut four feet of drywall all over the place. They're in heaven right now in all this raw sewage. Uh, they're really disgusting creatures and I don't know what purpose they serve in the world. dead worms and dead flies, but the maggots are swimming through it, having the time of their lives. And this was in the sink? Yes, here in the bathroom, where I assume this is where the leak started. Florida has hurricane season, scalding, we have cord season. have been 
in oh, absolutely okay. everything, all the food, no? inside oh. the appliances, in the fridge. There's really nothing salvageable in this house at all. And the fact that she's been living and sleeping in here for many months, I don't know how she's still alive. I can't even be in here for a minute without a mask on. Hopefully she's resilient, but man, uh, the odor alone, and there's no way that the sewage did not spread into the adjacent condo. So um, it may not have been through the other side of the wall, but I bet there's mold growing in between the two walls. So uh, this is just a terrible, terrible situation for a lower income person. I, I feel for her. I don't know how she's going to get through this and put it all back together. She's going to lose everything she owns in here. What do we got there? <laughs> All right, let's see if it works. All right, ready? There's a big cluster right there. apocalypse roses, Jesus. Any progress, Laura? Not at killing these resilient roaches, let me tell you. Oh my God. I'm telling you, the world's gonna end and the only thing left is gonna be these roaches. They can't die. They will inherit the earth. I just used an entire bottle of this that she had here and they're still here. Not even phased. Unbelievable. Go for it. They're not even phased. Uh, they don't care. <laughs> you always want to empty the liquid so that your bags are lighter. Find your iPhone. Pretty strange when you find someone else's iPhone. <laughs> in a uh, kitchen, not even her. You got a bunch of moles here in the closet. The homeowner was asking if it was safe to keep any of these, but you can see it's spreading to the fabric. Clothes is one of the worst things you can keep if you have a world infestation. Anything fabric should definitely go. All of her clothes are falling apart and deteriorating. The only thing that's left of a lot of it is the elastic. So far, Lord. I'm old and I'm tired. My back is rocking. <laughs> Woo. It's just like miserable conditions in there. You can't uh, breathe that well, you know, because you're breathing through this. And if you happen to like bend down and a tiny gap of air maybe comes in and you get a whiff of that, oh, it's absolutely horrible. It's the worst smell on the planet. I think I need a break. <laughs> it's a swamp in there. All right, go. Oh man! Since you guys, uh, it's because of you two that I'm here working. I think it was the one where they had to pull the drain plug out of the tub. And it was oh, I saw that one. Yeah. And you couldn't see the bottom of it, yeah, so they're just, just digging, digging around in there looking for it. <laughs> I think that was the one.
I would rather clean up 10 dead bodies than this sewage nasty, nasty, nasty sh Slow simmering. <laughs> oh, this doesn't expire until next year. Oh, so it's still good. It's Hey, Laura, it's still good. If you want to say that. It hasn't expired yet. <laughs> oh, amazing. Everyone, let's open it and take a spoon. <laughs> so right now, I'm about to empty out the fridge. It is absolutely packed full of food. A lot of these drawers, all of these drawers are filled with leftover pieces of food, wrappers, as long as they have minions on them. I haven't seen batteries in the fridge since I was a kid. <laughs> oh, gotta keep these fresh. Always gotta keep them fresh. There's a nice little collection of batteries in here. Batteries. You know, this is not the first time we found batteries inside a refrigerator. This is in May of 2019. That expired in 2019? Yep. Holy sh gives you a little bit of an idea of how long people can leave things before they even realize they're there. Whoa. Stuff like this, bugs getting into the fridge. Pretty hard to break through a seal. Oh, what was that? Sandwiches. <laughs> Only uh, two bucks. Yeah. Those were already expired. That's fish? That's a jar of wild herring. 23, December 15th of this year. So that's still good. Oh, yeah. it's almost, oh, what is that? Oh, hold up to the camera. I think that's a mango. That was a mango. <laughs> Just got mold in it. Look at that. Oh, this should be fine. Looks like some type of spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. Uh, so mold. Delicious. Comes with three flies. And these are the old blackberries. They're replacing from the fridge. Can only imagine how long these have been stuffed back there. The plastic is stuck to it. Yeah, look at the mold. There's not even any berry left. It's just yeah. mold. So, looks like it's also got some green beans and carrots in there. Well, that's mold now. Yeah. Cockroach food. Mm. Yeah. This room is soaking wet. Guys, we're finally in the master bedroom here, and uh, there is a severe amount of mold. This is the origination of the sewage backup, uh, the toilet. The mold is growing, it's already about three and a half feet high on the drywall, which you'll see here in the closet in the back, but it's because it's been sitting so long. The carpet is still really squishy, so what we're going to have to do is extract the carpet just to make it lighter for us to pick up and remove. Uh, without doing that, it sounds stupid because we're going to throw it away anyway, but the only reason we're doing it is so we can actually lift it up because this stuff is weighing a ton. Even like a wet t-shirt on the floor or whatever, it's so heavy because it's just been matted down and it's got cat poop on it. The water's just weighing it down the carpet, the padding. So I want you to take a look at some of the mold on the back walls here, because it is severe. Um, I don't know how the homeowner is not sick. I really don't. Okay, so, all right, look at it. And the area right there is all the shit. It looks like mud. It's actually feces. You scrape, yeah. it, you scrape it hard enough, you create like a river. Yeah. All right, for those of you watching at home, what we have is what the carpet used to look like and what the carpet is now. The more you know. Six bags in and I haven't even gotten to the freezer yet. I suspect this will probably be another three or four. 
Maybe five. What have we got, Laura? A pantry full of food and roaches. And look, they've eaten through the holes. Everywhere through the holes. Oh, look, look, look. In there. Oh, yeah. Here? There he is. There's multiple. What? Oh, buddy. This is my own personal nightmare, I'm just saying. Yeah, my anxiety's through the roof right now with all this. So this furniture items trap the moisture and that's what caused the mold back here. So we're probably going to have to do a four foot cut all the way across here. The doors are going like, if it was me and I owned it, I would just dump the whole place down to the studs. And if it wasn't a condo and if it was a, if it was a house, I would just get a match in gasoline. Start f fresh. You know what I'm saying? I tell you what, they have saved my life, really. Um, I didn't know it was as bad as it was, but now that they're getting this stuff out, they're they're working with me and they're, you know, doing a great job. They got up all the stuff off the floors, um, threw out stuff that needed to be thrown out that was damaged and everything from the water. Um, just, you know, getting rid of stuff, you know, that I should have gotten rid of a long time ago. I was just awed, the fact that it was that bad. I had called somebody else and they wouldn't come in. Got a hold of Laura and, uh, you know, you've, you've all been wonderful. So I definitely would recommend it. All right. So we're at the end of day one and I am beat. The crew is beat. Um, this was such a difficult job. Uh, the environment was, was horrible. It was hard to work in. Um, you know, we're fighting roaches from crawling all over us. While we're packing bags, while we're slushing through poop and sewage on the floor, it, it was just, it was just horrible. We're not done, obviously, uh, not in one day. We'll be back here again to finish up. Hopefully we want to get to the point where we've removed all the furniture and we can start uh, extracting the carpet to make it lighter so we can actually start lifting it up and throwing it away. But both our dumpsters are full and we filled all of the condo association's dumper, dumpsters as well, which there's four of them. So uh, we had a productive day. My back feels it for sure. Um, so we need, we need some rest because we have a giant horde tomorrow too. So it's uh, another day in paradise here. So stay tuned for the end of this job. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode.